Hi, my name is Brian Tomaszewski. In this video, I will teach you about working with data in ArcGIS Pro. Welcome to GIS Masterclass. Data is the most fundamental aspect when working with GIS in doing spatial problem solving and analysis. Therefore, it's imperative that you have an understanding of how to find, create, and manage GIS data. This GIS Masterclass video is designed for people who have a serious interest in developing an advanced skill set with ArcGIS Pro software. In terms of being able to conduct your own independent projects working with your own data sets. Also, to be clear, this video does not cover background concepts such as shapefiles, raster, and vector. If these topics are new to you, take a look at the card above to get a background on these GIS core concepts. This video also assumes that you have a basic understanding of the ArcGIS Pro software environment. If you are brand new to using ArcGIS Pro, this card will help you get introduced to the software in general. However, throughout this video, you'll find that you will learn more about the operation of ArcGIS Pro as you learn to work with data. To help reinforce the concepts you will learn in these videos, I have provided a GIS laboratory exercise that I'll give you a hands-on walkthrough later in these videos. You can download this GIS exercise from the link provided in the video description below. So if you're watching these videos as part of a class assignment, you can use the laboratory exercise to assess your learning of the topics I present in these videos. In the GIS laboratory exercise, I'll use a case study of compiling GIS datasets related to disaster management, specifically Hurricane Dorian that occurred in 2019 in the Bahamas. I'll tell you more about this case study in just a moment. So with all of this background in mind, let me tell you now what topics I'll teach you in this GIS Masterclass video. In this GIS Masterclass, I'll teach you about four things. First, I'll talk about metadata. Put simply, metadata is the idea of data about data. Metadata is very important for making sure that a data set you will use is relevant and of a quality level necessary for your project. Next, I'll talk to you about finding geographic data on the web from a wide range of sources. This is perhaps one of the best skills that you can learn to determine if a given data set is worth your time and effort. And this is in fact where metadata can become very important. I'll next teach you about file geodatabases, which are a standard data stored format used in the ArcGIS Pro software. Specifically, we'll create a file geodatabase and populate it with some data that we download from the web and data that we create ourselves. And more on that point, the last thing I'll show you is how to go about creating and editing vector geographic data in ArcGIS Pro through a process of what is called digitizing. And as I mentioned previously, I'll show you how to apply all of these concepts using a hands-on GIS laboratory focused on working with data in ArcGIS Pro. Let me briefly tell you a little bit more about the case study and how it relates to the GIS laboratory. I will use a case study of compiling GIS datasets related to a disaster management application. Specifically, I will use Hurricane Dorian, which happened in 2019 and created significant damages in the Bahamas. I will look for some raster and vector datasets related to Hurricane Dorian, and as need be, create some of my own data based on imagery I'll download. Specifically, as per the laboratory instructions, I'm going to find an ArcGIS online resource, find two vector datasets, find a raster dataset, create a file geodatabase, 
create a domain table, create a featured data set, export data sets into a file geodatabase, and digitize vector features from a raster image. This is what the end result of the GIS laboratory exercise looks like. Between discussion of the concepts and the hands-on GIS laboratory exercise, I hope that you'll feel prepared to start working with your own data in ArcGIS Pro. However, if there's something in these videos you think I'm missing or could have been expanded upon, please leave comments in the video below. Next up, let's start talking about metadata. Hi, this is Brian Tomaszewski. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and share this video. Also, please consider subscribing to this channel and clicking the notification icon to stay up to date on new videos from this channel. Thanks for watching.